Hello viewers, uh, welcome to another edition of Reminiscences. Our guest today, uh, Alhaji Bawa Garba, uh, usually called ABG, who is uh, from Adamawa State, even though I'm in his home here in Abuja. He's a veteran businessman who has been in many sectors of the economy particularly satellite television, which he pioneered, and uh, which made him a household name, especially in this uh, part of the country. Alhaji Bagarwa, I'd like to welcome you to the program. I should add, you are also the Tura King Karikida. Thank you, sir. And an elder statesman. Thank you. Uh, I read somewhere that, um, like members, many members of their generation, went to the normal schooling and the civil service. You started business almost from the time you were a very small boy. Yes. How, how did that happen? It happened so because my father is a businessman and I was following him and uh, up to as early as from seven years I was. So if I go to in the morning Islamic school, coming back from our area at that time, they said, no, we can't, we can't go to uh, other schools because there are missionaries in Garikida. Mm -hmm. Then, more than 70% of the people in Garikida are Christians. But our area, known as Angwan Hausa, Angwan Fulani, these are all 100% Muslim. That's how we live. So, none of them agreed to send his child more than insisting on Arabic. I could remember it was our good father, our Emir then, Ali Musafa, went on tour. So he came to tell us, to tell all the house of Fulani area that they should take their children into the missionary, missionary school. And when doing the religious, we should come out. Mm. That's how we were put into primary school, junior primary school. By the time we are about to reach senior primary school, they transfer us to Yola mm. from Grekida. This is exactly. So your father was transferred, so you had no, to no. follow him? or only me. Okay, to, to continue schooling. like to continue schooling. Yes. My father is doing his normal business mm. at that time. Mm. But you know, normally, their own way of thinking. Somebody else, an elder, must talk. Mm. Or people in authority must tell the other Muslim brothers that, yes, you can take your son. Mm. But when they start Christianity, he comes out. Mm. So, so well, that's how we started. Yeah, so you, you, went, you went to school in Yola, up to secondary school? No. I went to school in Gire. Gire. Because, uh, Outside of Yola. Hmm. And I stayed for some time in Song. Hmm. Song is after Gire. My mother is from Song. Hmm. My father from Gurkida. Hmm. Then, when they came when we were in senior primary in Gire, hmm. they come to recruit police. And I was very energetic. I was a good footballer, as young as I was. Uh, they now say I should be one of those. By then, remaining from a few weeks for us to pass, and that is how I know Kaduna. That's how God brought me in Kaduna. Mm. My father's friend, is let Ibrahim Biu, mm. where the, they are the minister of Sadrona. Yes. When I came, now he said, no, they are to send me to Notex. They are sending me this. Then from there, I was sent to Notex as a production clerk. But were you recruited into the police? I was, that's recruit, that's what took as, you to was recruited to come as police. To, for training? For training. Yes. But when I came to Kaduna, when I saw how the police is, I said, I don't want it. Okay. And I have somebody who is a good father, the yes. minister. I told him, I don't need this. Either I get anything to do with business, yes. is what I'm interested in. Because that's what I was brought up, something to do with business. Mm. Then he said, all right, 
we put in a textile. Mm. They put him in a Notex, Nigeria Limited, mm. as a clerk, production clerk. From Notex. Notex is Northern Nigerian Textile. Yes. yes. From there, uh, I was employed as account clerk by a con area of construction company. While I was doing all that, things started changing. My interest in business and so on, then suddenly, Nigerian war. Mm. So the Igbos were leaving the mm. north. I ended up being trained to handle post office job in Kaduna South, Kakuri, and then to be vendor of the new Nigeria then. New Nigeria, new Nigeria have just started. Mm. A lot of job. Early morning, as early as 5 o'clock in the morning, I will wake up, prepare my food, my at least breakfast and so on. Uh, go to the, my shop to give the vendors papers to sell. Then move again for the post office to hand over to open and give my staff. Then the vehicle take me to Notex as a production clerk. That's that has so been you're my life. three three jobs. Three people. things, but each of them are money making. A transaction. Mm. That's all. I, I was interested in that. So uh, I was already in Kaduna, but in Kaduna South. Mm. But because of the civil war going on, I started a commercial school. I went and learned how to type shorthand and so on and so on. Mm. Then expanded from Kaduna South to Gold Coast State in, Kadu uh, in Kaduna mm. because of the demand. Mm. They, the, I, was, I, I was giving registration approval by the, uh, for the name of Arewa Advancement Classes. Mm. is approved under Section 10 of the North Northern State Educational Law. Mm. And then it was my late friend, Magaji, he was the DO. Magaji Mohammed. Magaji Mohammed. Then so, I so, started. So you move into education then? I move into education. Uh, you but, set up a school. But that education is to help my brothers, children, and so on to be trained, but it's commercialized. Mm. I still make money out of it. Yes. The vendors' activities is going on. The post office activity is still going on in Kaduna South. Now I'm in Kaduna Gold Coast Street. Kaduna North. Kaduna, Kaduna North. That Gold Coast Street with the commercial institute and so on, the place cannot accommodate the demand because most of the able doing those things are no longer only mm. my, my, my school. Mm. Then I was giving abandoned property complex up and down which was owned by Ibos mm. at Binway Road. Mm. That is how I was involved into school activities, training the boys, sending them to war front. This is a clar is the clerical training. Training. Yes. While that was going on, I become a journalist. <laughs> That's a, you can call it that way. Yes. There is a good relationship between Nigeria and Soviet Union. Mm. They came to North. They want to, people who are very energetic, who are, they, they, they now came to Kaduna. And somebody told them about me. That you're already selling newspapers. I'm already selling newspapers. And when they explain, from those they interviewed, I'm the only one. They want, us, they want me to come to Lagos. That is my first time going to Lagos. Novesti Press Agency is mm -hmm. a Russian agency. Yes. They showed me what they want me to do in the north to move the magazine of the, is a cultural magazine between the North and the Soviet Union, people know, mm. because the Americans are saying, you know, these, these, the Russians are that, that, mm. and Russians are saying so, so to mm. balance it. Yes. This is a part of the job. I was given a very good salary, given Moscovich vehicle, one. Gradually, I was given the second one. This is a very good position, mm. and I'm making money, 
my uh, advancement classes is still at least making some money. The post office is making some money. The newspaper business is going on. That's how I become exposed. While that was going on very well, I was happy with all those things. I keep on thinking what to do next. From Arewa advancement classes approved in that section 10 of the northern region. So I changed Arewa advancement classes to Arewa Advancement Enterprises Limited. Arewa Advancement Enterprises Limited. This is a limited liability company. Mm. I become agent to UTC, selling typewriters, selling a lot of things from UTC, mm. and I'm making money on that. I'm already used to Lagos. Mm. These are part of my exposure. Mm. I've been in Karuna more than 60 years. Yeah. So many have been seeing me as Karuna Indians. Mm. I am Karuna Indians by merely resident. Mm. I am an Indian of Adamawa, but all my life in Karuna. Mm. I have 13 children. Mm. I have 39 grandchildren. Mm. At what point did you get married when you, are, you have set oh, up all these various businesses? In, 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 first, my first wife, 1965. Hmm. And she has seven children hmm. for me. Hmm. All my grown up children now, the, 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 the managing director of ABG Group of Company, hmm. consisting of nationwide unity transport, dealing with buses. We are the one that supplied 150 buses in 2007. 2005, additional 150 buses in 2007 with FCT, valued at 2.8 billion then. That's how I, I, things were changing. I am into this, I'm into this, I'm mm. into this. Yes. And I'm used to this, all these activities. Mm. On the 18th of February, I am 80 years. Mm. So my life has been activities, I'm not doing it for the sake of money. Mm. I'm my entire body. I'm used to. I can't stay without doing mm. things. And I'm lucky. God is helping me. I have been healthy. So I don't look like 80 mm. because I'm still active. Mm. Even now, sometimes I close. I sleep from 11, sometimes 12 o'clock. Once I have something doing, I do it. Mm. So that is uh, you, you briefly still, to tell you about yes, me. You, you, let, let me take you back to when you went into the satellite business. Oh, because that's I what you are well I'm, known I'm, for. I'm not touched that. I'll tell you that separately. Yes, yes. So at what point you are in all these various activities, did you found the opportunity into this new satellite business? Before the satellite, I was the one that pioneered the Kaduna International Trade Fair. Yes. The group of businessmen in Kaduna, because of my exposure with late Dogonyaro and many of us, we have been meeting. And there's Lagos Fair, started only one year. Mm. The second year, I went to Lagos, I saw it. Then something happened. I went to no, uh, uh, Germany, West Germany, mm. University. Mm. And uh, and Stuttgart in mm. Germany. Mm. From there, when I went to that international trade fair, then I saw a dish showing me different part of the world. Big dish. <laughs> because I'm interested in anything electronics. Mm. That's how the interest mm. is. Then I went to one stand. I saw a display of Bosch product, Blau Pump factory. Hmm. They are in Hildesheim in Germany. I stayed and then decided to visit the factory where they assemble TV set. After seeing the TV assembly, I saw them sell about, uh, selling radio and I discussed with them I'm interested 
to take the black pump business, which is under Bosch, to, Na to Nigeria. I say, oh, Nigeria, yes. And they give me agency. Then this is what led to my satellite mm -hmm. field. When I came, I was selling the televisions gradually. From there, the idea of assembling televisions. I built a factory in Kaduna. Uh, at Kudenda Light Industrial Area, Angwa Maazu. Employed a lot of workers and uh, my partners in, in Germany have given me two Germans to train Nigerians so that we can produce high quality TV assembly for Nigerians. As big as 27 inch TV is not up to 2000, it's about 1500 then. In those days. Good. And uh, that is uh, part of my being popularity. Mm -hmm. From there, the following year, the idea in 1978, the idea started coming. So what I saw at the fair in Germany, I went to saw the type of fairs they are doing in Lagos. I said, Nigeria does not begin and end up in Lagos. Why not I set up such a thing here in the north? That is. The idea I give to friends, like I'm talking with you, mm. made them to call for a meeting of businessmen in the north. From there, after explaining, all of them say, you are the right to be the leader. And we decided to say, all right, how much are we going to invest? We arrived at a budget of 10,000. Nobody has 10,000. 10,000 naira. Yes, that's the capital. But <laughs> I was having 10,000. I said, I'm ready to sacrifice 10,000 for us to benefit from the training of the blow pump and to expand to factories, to employ many northerners. That's the idea. And I said, are you mad? 10,000, you want to invest? For only a trade fair, how can you recover the money? I say, yes. I will invite, we will travel out of the world and travel and invite Germany to invite. And at that time, I was lucky. My townsman and child friends, Air Marshal Alpha, was the administrator of Kaduna. Mm. And he allowed me to use any of the government property, vehicles. So we decided to visit Germany. The person that encouraged us is Tatari Ali, governor of Bauchi then. Mm. He was the only governor who joined us to travel to Germany, Stuttgart, in Stuttgart, and they receive us with a red carpet treatment because they have never seen delegation, many like that from Nigeria. Nigeria. And they are looking at it, Nigeria, Africa. Then we went to visit Mercedes. From A to Z, how Mercedes does their thing. So, oh, we say, ah. that encouraged me in making sure that I will definitely sell, add to sales of car radio. Because they are saying they want to set up such a thing in Nigeria. Pijo. Mm. These are some that I can tell you anytime I'm now 80. I can be 90, I will be able to explain this. Mm -hmm. So at what point did you realize the satellite business is going poorly? Poorly. And, and you had to stop? Yes, poorly I realized it because there is a, grow, there is a new technology coming up everywhere. Mm -hmm. Dishes are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Small dishes you can set up. Not as before that you have to go through me. Mm -hmm. I realized so that. Comp competition began yeah, to yeah. in. This competition becomes so strongly that I cannot return my investment from the expansion I did to some state. Mm. Those that are not economically good, mm. I withdraw and close them off. Reducing, reducing, reducing. 
within five years, I end up having only Lagos, Abuja, Kano. I think that's all. What is and this? eventually, mm. I have to leave that field mm. because the license I have, have they are charging a lot of money. Mm. So, so what I, is the state of the business now? Has it closed down? The business have not closed down. And the answer, yes, it has closed down because I'm no longer involved in that activity. Mm. I changed to transportation. Mm. Nationwide unity transport is pioneered by me mm. during the former minister of FCT, mm. our current governor of Kaduna State. Mm. Very energetic with a lot of ideas. Mm. So when you put ideas to him and he makes sure that thing is good, he always accepts and give you support to do it. Government want buses in Abuja. Mm. Cost of buses is a lot of money. And the investment is about 1.8 billion. I don't have 5 million <laughs> at then. But I have ideas in billions. Mm. I went to Brazil. Flight to Brazil is about 24 hours. Cost of flight to Brazil is also big. But give them a lot of ideas and they supported it. They are giving me the buses. If I win the contract to supply Abuja, they are giving me three years defer payment. The buses will operate. As they are operating, the money I'm realizing, I will be sending money to Brazil every six month interval. Mm. Six times six give you 36. Mm. That was how I started. Two years after, the government saw this partnership was good, then they wanted their buses. So I sold 150 buses to FCT. This was the red buses, Abu Abuja Urban Mass Transit. Mm. Today, some of these buses, after 17 years, they are still operating. Some are Mercedes. That is the business I am still doing. Mm. But I am doing this business today in a different approach, mm. which for you to know and the listener to benefit. Mm. I created something not more than six months ago mm. that I'm bringing buses of smaller capacity and bigger capacity to give young men, young Nigerians, graduates, and any of them that can read and write, once you can drive, we give you a vehicle costing $8,750,000. You are to pay me 15% only. You don't have 15%. We sign agreement. You will pay the 15% installmentally. Driver ownership scheme, within four years, you own the vehicle. After paying me the down payment of 15%, the balance of 85% will spread it installmentally within 48 months and break it to weekly. Weekly what? You pay in advance. How many buses are you bringing in for, Very this, good. for this scheme? I started this 150 with the FCT. Yes. The second batch was another 150, but given to FCT organization, but I give them the fire payment to yes. pay me within four years. Yes. I was having facility of three years, which was increased to four years. Today, Brazil is willing to give me any number of buses that I need in billions of dollars because my past performance with them, my credibility has no limit. Mm. Because the Exim Bank of Brazil is funding anything that I need. Mm. And they have now increased this opportunity to, for me five years. Mm. I am projecting a minimum of 5,000 buses this year. Before the end of 2022, 5,000 buses means 15,000 people will benefit mm. direct employment. And 
people per bosses indirect employment. Why indirect? When you own a boss, you'll go to the organizer, you will do the fueling, there is a commission agent, there is a, a maintenance, there is a lot of things. That's why you get about eight people. So this is coming. Why? No money, economy is changing, things are not possible. So I am ready to do that with state government that I involved into transport. The state government gives me only 15%. No 15% available, they can spread it for payment instrumentally. I can give them 50 buses, I can give them 100 buses, I can give them 200 buses, depending on the capacity of the state. For example, we have discussed with Kano State. Kano State has thousands of a day day Tesahu, that is Kekene Pub. Yes. Good. I think it's the largest in the north, or if not Nigeria. Mm. And with the outcome of my discussion with the Kano State government, under the managing director of Karota, mm. good. They are giving me pilot scheme to start with 500 buses. These 500 buses will be coming and the, the governor of Kano will commission it and the beneficiaries will be selected by the Kano State government under driver ownership. Why driver ownership? Because I am giving you a vehicle to change your life. You will take care of the vehicle because when the money is recovered, the cost plus one year as profit to my company, the keys of the buses will be handed to any of them that did very well, saying bye-bye to poverty, no more poverty, because the money he makes daily, and this can be a graduate, this, this can be a, a, a technician, uh, or a polytechnic, or a diploma holder, or what, well, and, uh, no, even those who do, do not go to school, but can drive. Many people will be surprised that at your age, you are so involved in business in this kind of detail. Thank you, sir. What, 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 what's the, the motivation? Uh, the motivation is that um, it's God's gift. Mm. As I told you, at the age of seven, I was following my father. Mm. At the age of seven to now, I'm 80. Mm. I've been used to activities. Mm. I'm always very active. Mm. During the trade fair, I work till midnight. Mm. I take my job seriously. I train my children to f take over from me, but it's not taking over that I retire. No, <laughs> there's no retirement. <laughs> because I am sure that if I retire, I will be something else. Mm. So, so how, these how, activities. How many hours do you put in, a, in, in, in business this day? Business daily minimum of seven hours sometimes, but sometimes it can be 10 hours. It can be 12. It depends. Mm. It's an interest, sir. You have an office I, I, or you I have work office for here home? now in my house. The last floor is office. Mm. <laughs> this is my house. This is my office. Everything I need is here. My staffs are around. So I am not doing this for money, sir. Mm. It becomes part of me. Mm. From the history I told you, from the beginning to the I am used to activities. Mm. But your children are also part of the business. The yes, and they is, have been is, very good, sir. Okay, so how, so, so how, much, how much authority uh, many, do you give them? Many of my children are been following me, doing the same businesses with me, and they have been very active. I think I was lucky to have such children with me. Most of them are trained. I'm also into agriculture, I didn't tell you. Yes. Good. I am into traffic, uh, vehicle, I'm into ABG communication, which is uh, TV assembly and, and, and uh, uh, television uh, satellite broadcasts. But my main business now is transportation. And it has been very good. I projected, I told you, to sell 5,000 vehicles this year. 5,000 vehicles will automatically give direct employment to 15,000 Nigerians. Mm. And if all the 36 states plus FCT will give me order and will sign agreement under the fire payment, mm. 
every year we can empower 10,000 Nigerians. And with that confidence, I will give the bosses, I will use the e-payment facility, just like I do my satellite. If we give you the bus, you have to pay a certain amount daily and monthly. If you fail to pay, in the morning you are going, the vehicle cannot start. <laughs> that is automated e-ticketing payment system, sir. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel comfortably, nothing to worry me to think about. No, everything is planned administratively using the automated paying ticketing system. Mm -hmm. This sounds, which, is, which is everywhere yes. in the developed countries yeah. of the world, sir. This sounds like the kind of business you should leave to children who are IT savvy. That, so we surprised. Most of them, even those who are not IT, they came and we trained them, sir. Yes. And they were doing that all very well. How long do you expect uh, uh, to? I cannot even quantify the number of people that uh, my company trained in the satellite installation in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So many of them now. They, that is their... Life would they got married? I cannot even count them. Let me let me go back but to this your... new line, yes, and this new driver ownership scheme. Yes. Oh, it will empower many. You don't need to be a driver to own it, sir. Yes, you can come as Kabir mm. and want to help about three or four boys of your own or your sisters or brothers. Yes, come to me and I give you the vehicle. They look for drivers, the drivers operate. You are giving me seven thousand daily. They are making 15. Now, now so you, are, you are setting me up for trouble. I'm giving you that example, When they no, see this on TV... I'm saying, I say this as an example, <laughs> sir. You are okay. TV, you are television <laughs> business, you are satellite business is the daily trust. So it's part of you. When you say daily trust, anybody in Nigeria, once you mention daily trust, everybody knows about you. You are the pioneer. And you handle it very well. And uh, people like Manir Manu Ali are following very well. And I, I, I admire the way you handled that paper. So let, let, me, let me take you back to your television days. Yes. There was this uh, period when there was the Abacha television. Thank you. Everybody knew would, about uh, Abacha television. I will tell you that. Yeah. It became a bit controversial. Yes. What yes. has Abacha got to do the head of state with television? Thank you. How did you uh, organize that uh, uh, thing? These are uh, what you call marketing strategy. And... Uh, uh, this is a gift from God. I am close to the family. Through the wife. I know the children. And then that time about Abacha, Abacha. So, I now say, if you go to Hilton then, at that time, when Hilton, Transcorp Hotel yes. Hilton was yes. built, yes. all the televisions were black -home. From there, all the television were A, B, G. Every room. So, and these are the boss, that the televisions, these are things coming still from the German. Good. And the marketing was going very well. So I said, uh, with the power of a butcher, mm. everywhere, a butcher. if I make a brand, a butcher, I think it will catch up well. That's all. And I sell the idea. You sold it to a butcher? <laughs> so I, don't, I can't tell you everything, sir, because a butcher has nothing to do. A butcher doesn't know anything about Telebacha TV. Hmm. I only invited, but, 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 the, I you, invited but, the wife, sir. Could, could you use his I, name I, without his knowledge? No, I am just telling you these are things that um, uh, the wife was very good. If you bring good ideas, she will encourage you. Hmm. So she is the first lady mm. of Nigeria. Yes. Very good. And uh, she accepted this idea. And a commissioning ceremony was arranged. Marwa Bo Marwa was active in Lagos as an administrator, and I know him. Mm. And many other governors. So mm. at the ceremony, sir, many of them say, so one container, two container, that, that. That will have been, I will have been a billionaire for a long time. Mm. After this ceremony, Things change in Nigeria. What happened? It was, it was not implemented. Why? Yeah, because that regime is no more. Okay, Abacha died. Yes. died shortly after yes, that. That is mm. thing I cannot forget. If mm. not, I would have been a billionaire long time. Mm. 
Are you are you a Bilonia now, or do you I expect you will be a Bilonia <laughs> before? <laughs> I am 80, so I don't need to be a Bilonia, mm. but I am comfortable. I live a comfortable life. I have no thing worrying me, uh, and uh, I think to be a Bilonia is good and bad, <laughs> okay. which I cannot explain now. <laughs> no, but uh, what, what is the good side? The good side is that uh, when one dies, you are leaving the children to inherit a lot, which may help them or not, mm. if you left billion. Mm. But if you have been good with the children, mm. yes, leaving billions, they will inherit things and use it well. Tell us so I am liking yes, yes. that all of them have been involved. Managing director, the boy who just left here now is the managing director of Agri Supermarket, agricultural part of it, which mm -hmm. is also, sir, mm -hmm. I have a lot of things to explain to you because I've, I have not even touched Agri. Mm -hmm. We have not finished, we partly finished ABG communication. Mm -hmm. We partly finished nationwide unity transport That's about right. the buses. Mm -hmm. But that has been good up to today because of the new idea of driver ownership. Yes. It will empower so many Nigerians that wants to own a vehicle, mm. invest in it, recover your money, return the money, and make money, and make sure that your brother, your son, your daughter, or whoever will own a vehicle that brings in money mm. daily, like a, it, it end up to be like a property, sir. Mm. So I, I'm wondering how the downturn in the Nigerian economy has affected you. That many is why I changed. Many businessmen like you affected are down. me. Yes. COVID nineteen, mm. everything affected. But once it happened, mm. I always think of what to do next. Mm. We used to collect thirty percent down payment for our business mm. in partnership. Today for vehicles. For vehicles. Yes. Today I'm collecting fifteen. Mm. That fifteen at the end was not working well. Mm. So I rely on a board resolution and bank. Guarantee. Mm. And then when we give you the vehicle, we have the control. Automated e-payment. Mm. Clever man, you don't want to pay me, and pop, 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 it doesn't work. Mm. Yes, and then therefore, you pay gradually, you own the thing, mm. I get my payment, I make some profit. So it's the main business that I'm relying on now, sir. Okay, so you'll be able to adapt. All the other, no, all the other businesses I left for my children, they were yes. handling it very well. Mm. Still by, with my involvement, mm. just you know, checking them to make sure that they are doing well. Mm. That's all. But the transportation, mm. I used to have a, 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 a Brazilian man as managing director who trained most of my children, mm. who trained many Nigerians again as mechanic. They were sent to Brazil. They got training. They do a lot of things. Mm. There was something very, very viable that I'm going to be involved soon. Mm. But I cannot disclose it now, okay. sir. Yes, thank T you. Tell us a little about your family life. It seems you have married many times, you have many children. How is that part of life? Is it, part is it, of is life, it complex? I have been with one wife for mm. many years. Mm. I had one wife for 22 years. Mm. Your first wife? My first wife. Yes. And she's still alive? Yes. I'm 80. She's about 70. In between, as a human being, mm. I married my second wife, the Egyptian. Mm. In between, I married another one in my hometown, in my home state, sorry, in Yola. Okay. Good. That's why I am. I have three. Yes. And each of the three have children. Mm. Number one wife has the highest. Mm. Number two has three. Mm. Number four, no, no, number two, number three has two. Mm. Put together, I have 13. Mm. Put together the 13 children, it gives you 39 grandchildren. Mm. If you ask me one thing that it may be difficult for me to, to give, mm. I cannot give more than 50% of their name. 
39. Of the grand when I see them, yes. I think by 80% I can recognize them. Mm. But 39, mm. I know the figure. Yes. And I think that was the maximum for yes. now. Yes. Why? I, I can say I control. Mm. If there is no control, there would have been maybe 45. Mm. But the budget of educating them, feeding them. This oh. are your grandchildren? The grand, no, my children, sir. Yes. They're grandchildren. If, I, if my children are okay, I have to be sure that my grandchildren are also okay. Mm. But then if my son has got something good, yes, comfortably he can feed himself. Mm. Indirectly, I'm involved with that. Mm. So that is what is going. Yes. And for that, we thank God, things mm. are going well. We are healthy. Everybody is healthy. Mm. Is it a large compound you live together, all this, all this? Uh Three wives and uh, children. You are an experienced uh, journalist. Uh, you ask a lot <laughs> of questions. I can. I am not keeping them all. I have the senior wife in Kaduna, my main base. Mm. The junior is here in Abuja with me. The youngest is in my hometown, Adamawa. Mm. That's it. everybody has his own house mm. and his children mm. or her children. Mm -hmm. So, so everybody is independent. And I visit each of them when necessary. Mm. And that makes me to be act, also active. Mm. Thank you, sir. You mean the traveling? Traveling. Mm. I, I'm, I have traveled to <laughs> more than 70% of the major cities in the world. Mm. I got a lot of exposure. Mm. All the countries that you know, mm. popular. I have visited them because of the trade fair. Mm. I visited them because of my company, mm. expansion, communication, uh, and the other technologies. Which Anything new, mm. I like to be involved. Mm. So there are two very important businesses that are coming which are very, very good for Nigeria, mm. which I cannot disclose. Mm. Soon, when after <laughs> I start, and I am comfortable, Yes. Then we can do that interview with you later good, on. There good. are two very, very important. Very good. Uh, very good for I, the country. I like, I like to follow up Yes, on that. very good for the country. Mm. Creating employment. One of them creates 6,000 employment, mm. direct employment. Mm. And 24,000 indirect. Mm. And they are also into, that one is in communication. And the other one is also something to do with if, Petroleum. Mm. Okay. So I cannot disclose. Wh which which countries have you visited the most? Which is the oh, one you the most of my visit, you regularly you regular know. visit. Mm. Number one was Germany. Mm. Then, mm. which really later on reduced and uh, end up to be all part of Europe. Mm. I get my visa for five years when it's America. Mm. My last visit to America since 1982, I've not visited them because I do less with America now. Mm. My concert visit, either to, for medical checkup or any other thing, is Egypt. Egypt. Religiously, also, religiously, Umrah. In Saudi also, Arabia. Egypt, you have a family reason for visiting? Uh, it's the nearest that I can go for medical checkup. Mm. I do medical checkup in Nigeria. Mm. But when I want to go to Umrah, mm. I go to Egypt, rest for some days, then go to my Umrah and mm. come back to Nigeria. Mm. Sometimes I go straight and then coming back, I branch in Egypt mm. one week, two weeks before coming to Nigeria. Mm. So this is how, uh, so mostly my visit is within African countries, mm. uh, Egypt and Middle East. What about Brazil? Which, Brazil, because of the, I've been going there, but now my children take over. Mm. Yes, mm. they are going there. They are known, just as like I was knowing. Mm. I want them to continue that mm. because despite I want to be active, I know one day I still have to leave it. I have to leave it maybe when I'm 90. I don't mm. know. I, I don't know whether I can even <laughs> retire at 90. <laughs> it's a very well-traveled man. Uh, which, which are your favorite countries? Which ones do you really love to, to visit, to you enjoy visiting? I think I love all. But priority, 
if I'm given priority, is Egypt and Dubai. Mm. Why? Why those two? Then third one is Saudi Arabia, religiously mm. Saudi. Mm. I at least like to visit Saudi three times in a year to pray to God, mm. to thank God mm. for my life mm. and God to have mercy on me mm. and so on and so on. Dubai, there are some, a lot of other business ideas you can have in Dubai. Mm. Egypt, yes. I rest there, I have a base there. Mm. Meaning you have a house there. Inshallah, mm. so and so on. Mm. Uh, the rest, occasionally, mm. UK, mm. occasionally, mm. but not totally not going is America. Mm. How do you spend your typical day? Day, okay. How Very do you, good. from waking up to? Early in the morning, my morning, morning prayer. prayer. I start my business daily at 10 o'clock without knowing when I will end it up. Mm. Yes, sometimes when I have a lot of work to do, up to 11. Mm. In the night? I yes, I prepare some things, write them, and put on my secretary's table. When he come in the morning, he will see them. And but by weekend, mm. every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I rest. Mm. Sleep. Wake, wake up sometime 11, 12. But, but when there is good activities again, still for me, I walk even Saturday mm. and rest Sunday mm. and start fully on Monday. Mm. So, so all my days have been good, I have been active, I have ideas coming to me. There are good ideas commercially and economically, they are better for me. Do you have any leisure activities? Do you play sports? I play golf. Mm. But, but for, for more, more than 19 years now, I've not been playing golf. Mm. No time. <laughs> but I still exercise anyway. Yes. I still exercise mm. daily. Mm. But, but sometimes a minimum of three times a week. Mm. By not jogging, running, but mm. normal stepping around for 15, 20, maximum 30 minutes. Mm. That is. Do you have any restrictions on what you eat or, you know? No, I eat avoid. any type of food, but I eat light food in the night as my last. I'm not used to anything heavy mm. for many hours. Up by breakfast, but lunch, full lunch. Mm. Dinner, something light. Sometimes I can do without even the dinner. You have li lived a very long and uh, active life. What, what lesson do you, have you gathered? What core lesson that you can teach to the younger generation about how to? Yes, I thank God for the ideas and the way God kept me. My advice that people should not be over ambitious. Take things gradually. Don't jealous others that you live a simple life. Don't worry about Mrs. A having this or Mr. A having this. Why I can't have this? You are killing yourself if you do that. Think of yourself. This is what I have. God bless it. I would have liked to do this if it's possible. Aim at it. So the power of what you need is in your hand and your brain. That's it. Then once in the night, lie down and sleep. All the activities I do daily, sir, if mm. I sit down and lie down on my bed and keep quiet for 30, 45 minutes, I sleep. I, I'm always surprised to see people say, oh, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't. No, no it's wrong with me. Mm. That's all. I have to take something before I sleep? No. And I don't drink anything. I've never tasted anything, drink or smoke. Mm. Yes, and God... Is the best by helping me not to think about that. Mm. I've never think. But not only me, none of my children mm. smoke or drink anything bad. Mm. That's how I was brought up by my parents. I pass it on this to my children, and I'm sure they will pass it on mm. to my grandchildren. 
Thank Nigeria you. is going through a very serious crisis. You have seen the good old days, as they say. Why do you think things are so bad now? What, especially the economy, the insecurity? Things are bad, not only in Nigeria, sir. It's worldwide. But I think our own sometimes is getting bad. The crime aspect is bad. That is what the government should try as much as possible. Even if you are not rich, once you can move to anywhere you want without problem of security, that's good. But government should lay more emphasis on crime. Do you, do, do, do you think they are trying enough, the government? The president has good ambitions, sir. The president, we are lucky to have such a president mm. who is not corrupt. Mm. The ambitions and the type of thinking General Buhari, uh, President Buhari is doing has been very good for the country, sir. But the problem he has, even if he has something good for the country, the politician, the opposition change it and say, ah, oh. and uh, we Nigerians, some, prefer to listen to the bad side, which is even lie. The man have, and this is one of the most patient present. This is, he has not corrupt, number one, two, the most patient. You can call him anything, nobody arrests you. It's not that in other African country. This is one of the things, even after he leave the government, people will remember him with that. He did very well on some structural, structural issue like road mm. development and so on. But the world price of oil was bad then, mm. but now better. Mm. But better, we could not enjoy that better because we are not refining mm. our fuel. Mm. So it doesn't have anything good for us. Mm. Government should lay emphasis in making sure we own our own refinery. Mm. So that once there is increase in fuel price, we benefit. Um, there are some of his, some of his policy are very good, encouraging businessmen in many ways, and visiting other countries like his current trip, going to condole somebody that has been good with Nigeria died, and all this. This is this are very good relationship. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we may one day be regretting that I say, oh, Buhari. Because when you are in power, you are trying, you have good ideas for the country. Others, opposition. The opposition, good or anything you do good, to them is not good. What maybe, are the, maybe, who are the opposition, sir? Maybe, it's not the PDP. Or. Yes. There are people who are in APC, but they are opposition. Mm. That's all, because their opposition is that they don't get what they are looking for. Mm. He was looking for a pause he didn't get. Automatically, he is not going to change to PDP, but anything Buhari, he doesn't like. But once they get him something good, oh, yes. So, you see? Yeah. What, what, what do you wish to see in 2023? We're already in a transition to another My government. appeal is that 2023 place we should take it easy as much as i'm surprised about 32 person trying to take over position of one man looking for presidency is good the amount they fixed was 100 million i think it was even not enough I thought maybe if they fix 150 to 200 million to discourage others. But even this one now, many now are withdrawing, but I think it was not good for such competition. Mm -hmm. At the end of it is one person. God has already known who is getting it. Mm -hmm. We pray for God to help us mm -hmm. to have the right present mm -hmm. who will improve and make the country 
safe. Very good. That's the priority. Making the country safe. And those that are looking for it, God should guide us and choose the right person which, who will walk and try for the benefit of the all, all the Nigerians. Thank you. So may God help us and may I congratulate uh, Buhari in advance, remaining one year, for leading the country successfully and he goes into retirement. People like us who know him is we could not have access to him, but as soon as he retires, <laughs> we'll be able to. Okay. Yeah, but it is, he is also very good in one side. Yeah. Um, Sometimes, if you are on the queue mm -hmm. and he is passing and he knows you, mm -hmm. oh, he will leave the queue. And this is something very good about him. Thank you, sir. So Thank he you. has no problem, and we are sure God will help him. At the time after leaving the presidency, people will start to appreciate him more. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Alaji Bagarba, for this very engaging conversation. Thank you. We wish you long life and many active years ahead. Uh, I wish you a new television station the best. Thank you, sir. I wish God will help you to promote it as you did Daily Trust. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Daily Trust is now the number one paper in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. This is something you pioneer. When you say you want to me, you want to see me for an interview, immediately I will not think so. Oh, that's the man who brought Daily Trust to where he is. If he's in television, maybe within a few years one will belong to it. Inshallah. Whenever you intend to commercialize it, sir, yes. we are standing by okay. to be one of your shareholders. Okay. Thank that'll, you. That would be nice. Uh, and thank you, viewers, for joining us in this edition of Reminiscences with al Haji Bawa Garba, uh, better known as ABG. Uh, and until we meet you again in another episode, goodbye.